Hey guys, happy Saturday. This is Brenda from my Wee Wee Rooms Cradle and I am in my bedroom right now with Jerrica. Oh, she is so cute. The lighting is a little bit off, but um, I'm here for a quick update. Um, I've been very busy being back at work and we have changed um, the program, the kindergarten program. So I've been remaking up schedules and um, doing a bunch of stuff for at work and at home has been a bigger change that's going to take up a lot of time and sorry I sound like I'm out of breath and stuff but I think I'm catching a fall cold the weather is starting to turn a lot cooler now we haven't needed the heat on at the house yet but I'm pretty sure it's coming as very soon. <clears throat> um, right now, my hobby is going to have to stay still for a little bit. Um, I am expecting, like, I have a new girl in the mail, and she should be here already. In fact, she is here already, because Frances told me that I have a mail card in the in our mailbox but I haven't been able to pick it up yet see where I live um, there is no mailman uh, the, nothing is delivered to our homes everything is delivered to the post office and if there is a package they leave a package card or, or a partial card and we have to take the card and pick it up at the post office so I know that the card is in our mailbox. He said he just left it there for me to pick up myself. But um, I do have another girl in the mail. Actually, I wanted him to be a boy. She was being sold as, like, advertised as a girl. But I asked the seller to make him into a boy. And I picked out a name already. So I'm very excited to be receiving him. But everything is on hold right now, and I'll tell you why right away. Um, I'm not sure how many of you know this, but I have three sons, and my oldest son had um, most of his time, well, actually almost practically all of his time, was at my ex-husband's house, his dad. And the other two boys we shared equally, 50-50. There are reasons for why my oldest son is with my ex-husband the most. Mostly because when he was younger, he had a lot of doctor appointments and uh, uh, various doctors, like occupational therapists. He had, like, psychologists. He had um, a whole bunch of stuff. And it was just easier for my ex-husband like working in town to be able to take them to these um, appointments and for me working so far away from home a lot of you may know that my work area my work community is like an hour and 20 minutes away so I'm not even in town <clears throat> like where I live so um but recently I'm not going to get into the full details, but recently my oldest son and his dad had a huge argument. So now my oldest son has requested to live with me 100% of the time and see his dad once in a while, like kind of like kind of like reversed rules. But um the thing is like my home it's a four-bedroom home, but the fourth bedroom, which used to be his, like, years and years ago, before he, before we found out that we, um, he had to go out to all these appointments and stuff, um, he had a bedroom downstairs. And over the years, it's become my storage room. <laughs> Because I sold Avon, I used to sell Sunsea, I used to I used to sell Epicure, I used to sell Grace Adele, and my um, product has built up over the years, and um, and plus now with the Reborn hobby, 
I've been using it as a slash nursery as well. So now everything has to be taken out of that bedroom. And now all my stuff is has no place. So my reborning, um, like, you know, my reborn creating of dolls is going to have to be put on hold for now until I find another solution of where I can do this. But most importantly, I'm going to have to, um, now I'm forced to downsize. I really need to downsize. Um, the dolls I have up here will remain up here. I, I, I really enjoy them. I want to keep them. But the ones that I had downstairs, um, I want to keep some of them and other ones I can sell. So I will be advertising them for sale. Um, I really need to downsize. I have a lot of clothes too that I need to downsize. In fact, sorry, <laughs> I didn't realize how far away I was <laughs> moving the camera, but <clears throat> I'll show you right away what this situation looks like. It's very messy right now. Because all of my stuff is taken out of that room downstairs. And for now, it's just, like, hanging around. <laughs> like, upstairs. So, my job today is I'm going to have to go through all the clothes. And I want to organize them. Uh, like, really organize them. Like, what I want to keep, what I can get rid of, what I can donate. And, um... And think about, like, which dolls I can sell. I could probably sell at least, like, I don't know how many. Um, there's going to have to be a few. I'll show you <laughs> what I have to do. It's, it's just being back at work and being with the new program. I'm so busy at work. And then I come home. And I'm dealing with my ex-husband and my oldest son and him moving back home and making the room for him and getting legalized things sorted out. And see, I pay him child support, so now the child support money will be able to go down because he's living with me now full time and stuff like that. So, um, and he's just starting to learn how to drive. He's, um, so, <laughs> it's really complicated, you guys. I don't want to get into real big details of why he's here, but, um, but basically my house is a huge mess right now. It's a mess. My reborning hobby is going to have to just, um, stay still for a little bit. And like I said, I know I have a girl or a boy here for me for my collection and I don't want to sell him at all so I actually I don't want to sell any of them I think I have a solution I think what I'm going to have to do is put a lot of them safely tucked away like in bins or something I don't know I I don't know it's just really complicated you guys and I'm kind of feeling overwhelmed right now I mean, we're really, really, really happy that my oldest son is here. I'm overwhelmed with happiness that he's here. And he is so happy that he's finally here. It's been, see, he's been wanting to come here for years. And it's just been really complicated. And, um, yeah, if you knew my ex-husband, then <laughs> you'd understand. But I'm not gonna get into nasty ugly details so but um it's just wow I wish I had more time I wish I had the time to just stay home and deal with all of this home stuff because it's a huge mess right now both um like both that you can see and both that you can't see like if that makes sense like physically it's a mess and emotionally it's a mess well, not really a mess. It's really happy, but yet there's legal stuff too. Ugh, I feel like I'm just going on and on and on for nothing much. But I will show you guys. Holy, I've been talking for a long time. Okay, so this is what 
I have to do today. Oh, I was sitting on the floor for a while. Okay, I'll pause you and show you. So I'm in the hallway right now. That's the dehumidifier I was talking about that you hear. Oh, that color is awful. Here's a bin that's been brought up. Here's some stuff. Look at this mess. I am borrowing my son's room, my middle, excuse me, my middle son's room. Look at all these bins and boxes I have to go through. Ah, it's a huge mess. And there's some babies tucked away in there. All those bins. Oh, it's like quite a lot. So it's a huge mess. I t this is my son's bedroom, and I told him like right now he's at my ex-husband's house for well, it's complicated. He stays three months at a time, three months at my house, three months at his house, and then um, but he's allowed to come here on the weekends if he wants. So I told him, like, this weekend, there's just no way that he can come. Because, like, I'm up to my ears with stuff. Ugh. So I have to organize all these clothes. Well, that's just old winter boy stuff. But I have to... So now my reborning is going to have to be put on hold. I have lots of blank kits that I want to... Yeah, and then you come out here, and I have all of these, uh, and it's so cute, they, they found an old journal of mine, <laughs> it's kind of blurry, but, and some old notes that I wrote to myself, and some old pictures kind of cool but I'm gonna have to go through all of these bins I want to organize these clothes I want to go through the clothes that I really want and that I can donate and I have these kind of things with stuff oh and this one too and then this here too oh so much but I want to donate the the clothes I don't want to the um, it's for homeless people and stuff here in town so that's my huge job for but today. yeah we are so busy with organizing everything and <sighs> wow it's just really busy really emotionally different <laughs> I mean, we're so happy that he's here but yet our physical life is so busy look it's turning fall see the trees starting to turn it's turning fall the leaves are falling changing color pretty soon it'll be all be different colors but Yeah, so that's a short little update for you guys. Um, my reborning hobby is going to have to pause for a while until we get my son settled downstairs and things organized. Um, oh, so yeah, I mean, I did, like even my rooting, I've been, that's, I know I've been trying it for a while, but I've only had two times where I was able to, like, actually try and root with the needle. Like, I did a little bit last night, but it's a very slow process, and it will be. <sighs> so, yeah, where's the baby that you can hear? Look at, look at Carly and Rebecca for a minute while I talk. So... Yeah, she is so pretty. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know 
when I can get back into my hobby. Um, I need to find room for everything I have to find, which I will. I mean, everything will be done. It's just going to take time because I have a lot of storage downstairs. I still have a lot of my, like when my boys were young, I still have a ton of toys and oh, it's just a lot of stuff downstairs. And with all my Avon, my up here, my Grace Dell and my Sunsea is just crazy with a lot of products. So I'll try and sell a whole bunch of it or donate a whole bunch of it. And yeah, it's just going to be hectic for a while. So that's my news, guys. Um, I really hope to do a changing, vi like a silent video at least, one of these nights. Hopefully, I, I still would like to spend time with these dolls. I mean, they're really, um, stress relieving, so they're calming to me. I really enjoy spending time with them. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So... Anyways, guys, uh, I would appreciate some positive thoughts and prayers if you do that. At least some positive vibes. So, yeah, I think all in all, everything is awesome. Everything is going really well. It's just the transition is what's taking the longest right now. That It's going to be hectic for a while. But in the end, everything is awesome. Life is turning out even better. But it's just, in the meanwhile, we're very, very busy. So everything's going to be put on hold for a while. So, anyways, guys, um, thank you so much for watching. If you listened to the whole video, thank you so much for being there for me. And, um, yeah, I hope to do more videos. I don't want to stop completely. Like, I don't, but I'm going to need a small break. So... But I don't want to break off completely. I still want to do a few videos here and there if I can. But um, as for how often I upload, it's going to be a lot lower than what it was. So that part I miss. But um, yeah. All in all, it's going to be great. It's going to be very awesome. So anyways, guys, I hope that you are doing very well. And thank you so much to Stacy for checking in with me. Um, <laughs> thank you, Stacy and Gianna. Thank you. So, um, I hope that you, everyone is doing well. And, um, yeah, I feel like I'm just repeating myself. I have, I just have a lot on my mind. Sorry, guys. Um, but yeah. So, <laughs> I don't want to say goodbye, but I have to. I have so much to do. I have to start going through those clothes. So, anyways, guys, <laughs> thank you again for watching, and I love you all, and please think positive for us, um, that the transition will be smooth and easy going. Uh, so far, it's been overwhelming, so, and a lot of work, so, I mean, bringing up all these things from the bedroom up here for now, and, oh, it's just, it's just, it overwhelms me, all this, um, chaos, it, like, unorganized stuff, chaos, really stresses me out a lot, so, but, yeah. Anyways, guys, have a great day, I love you, and hopefully I'll be back very shortly, either tonight or tomorrow, at least, until I go back to work for the week, so. Until next time, guys, love you, bye for now, good baby life. Okay, bye for now, guys. Bye.